Yeah. Maybe John will be able to answer the yeah. comments, but to tell the rest of the audience the, the difference between a cemetery and a graveyard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's an ecumenical question there. Now. Um, I understand that the, you, you, have, like, you have burial ground, you have cemetery, and you have graveyard. And uh, burial ground doesn't necessarily need to be of a uh, uh, religious nature. And, uh, and I really can't say so any more. Cemetery <laughs> is, a, is a 20th, uh, late 19th, early 20th Thanks, century yeah. invention for town. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But there's no church associated. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no yeah. necessarily the ceremonial. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the point yeah. is that there's a church associated with a graveyard. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, thank you. And yes. cemetery yeah. doesn't have a church associated with yeah. exactly. yeah. so yes. it's, yes. it's a wider meaning. I apologise for Cork County Council because all their signs are saying cemetery, which I should say. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, really. But some of them are cemeteries. You know, the yeah. modern graveyards are, are cemeteries. You know, you know they're, and they're kind of invented when urbanism comes in and they need it much bigger space. Yeah, I'll just trust it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yep, at just the back. One question for Eamon and Owner. Um, what's your view on using sodium hydroxide or fluoros on the surface? On the surfaces? Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's well, like it's like like most other things. Yeah, there's there's just uh, like it's it's quite a strong strong bleach. Basically, is what mm -hmm. is what it is. And on some some stones that that can that can cause irreparable damage to the the stone surface. And again, you'll remove the vegetation for a while, but it'll be back. Uh, so you, you you'd have to reapply it, and over time, that's going to weaken weaken stone. And some stone it just dissolves them. Uh, like, uh, I remember when working on memorials using hypochlorite to, to, to clean off polished granite. Great job. It's, uh, it's, it's very effective, but as soon as you took near Purbeck or Portland Stone, uh, it permanently stains it, uh, and, and this, the, the, the life grows back in a way. So wasting materials and, uh, and the, the historic um, artifact. I'd agree with that. <laughs> Simon? Oh, I just want to ask Eamon about uh, St. Catherine's Church. Yes, yeah. Did you analyze the uh, binder before you did anything on it? Uh. No, <laughs> well, apart from a visual ana analysis. Now that that is that is often a recommendation is that you carry out uh, a full mortar analysis, and we, I I have had that done on other sites. Um, but generally, it comes back to say there's such and such a, a, a range of aggregate sizes, which is the useful uh, element. But then it 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 um, the what the, the results that these uh, tests generally give for for the binder element, i.e. the lime um, element. It's for limes that were produced locally, were very specific to a local geology, uh, and aren't aren't commercially available. You could probably go around to the local limestone <coughs> quarry, set up a little kiln, and burn similar <coughs> lime again. But they could have added other uh, additions, different clays, different uh, th things to be Was added. Was there lime burnt or for a use in that binder, the original one, like hot lime? Was there? A uh, yes, undoubtedly so. Uh, any any masonry structure, any structure held together with lime would have used uh, uh, principally hot lime. The use of hydraulic lime is fairly recent, uh, and it's because it's more commercially um, uh, available, uh, and it's more <coughs> homogenous, more reliable material. You don't have to go and open up a quarry next to your your um, your your restoration work site. site, your work site. So it's. It's, it's not quite the same as the old mortars. Invariably, I try and use as weak a, as possible uh, a lime um, uh, to, to, to closer match the historic ones. But uh, it's, it, 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 has its, it has its role. Which lime did you use? Uh, I was using NHL2 for most of that. But I was, I was starting to kind of weaken it down using hydrated lime. Um, and, but very much what I find is that if, unless you have the right aggregate, unless you have a well graded uh, <coughs> aggregate from fines up to, to, to quite, quite large uh, inclusions, it doesn't matter what line you use, it won't, it won't perform correctly because you need, it's, it's to do with the space in between the particles that are in the mortar. So you need that. And generally, that's very hard to find. It was traditionally it was river sand that would have been used in a lot of cases where it's naturally graded by the, 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 the action of the water. And you get that, that entire spectrum of, of particle sizes. So now I find I usually have to mix plastering sand, concrete sand, a bit of grit. <coughs> and you do three or four mixes before you get it right. And also, you need to mix it properly with lots of 
mixing action rather than rather than adding a lot of water and tumbling it around in a, a bell mixer. So there's yeah, there's there's that's there's a, a whole that's a hot line. We'll do that talk there. next. Yeah. So he's a, he used the hot line Certainly not. It's it's, it's it, that's what was used to the, and, and it's 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 definitely coming back into much more favour. But it's it's basically bringing the hydraulic lines. They've been found to be a bit too hard, <coughs> and this is bringing it closer. Not exactly replicating yeah. the original lines, but 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 a closer. What's your carbon closer range? What's your carbon range? Uh, there's some Great on the line. The yeah, NH. NH I, I was using yeah. NHL too, but that, that it's not an exact replica of, of what would have been there. It's it's just the weakest form of commercially available mixable line. Um, so it was it's a compromise, but it's Top Brennan. Top Brennan? Carrie Carroll. Uh yeah, from Tullo, yeah. You can get it there, you can get it in Yall, or you can get it I believe you can still get it in Inishannon. Oh right, no. This would have been a Portuguese or a German one uh, that I used up there, but <laughs> you, you can't get everything right. It's this isn't a question; it's just a point of information. The very first site that John sh showed there on the archaeology.ie yes. was the brewery in Clonakilty. Yes. Two of the iconic chimneys have been removed for the floodworks. I would hope and pray, and hope maybe that you could put pressure on the OPW to get them back up again. You well, know, it, is a, it is a protected structure, it is a protected and structure. Uh, they should be putting them back up. It is, I mean, and we don't want them going <coughs> the same way as the old town hall. At Memorial, you, that monument you were restoring with the um, the, 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 the Irish Rebellion at Memorial, who originally uh, was that a local um, Star Masons in Cork that built that originally? Um, I recall that there was a <coughs> there was an, a dedicatory inscription at the bottom. Ellis was the name. I don't remember more than that. The the architect was a guy called Dominic Coakley, uh, who also designed the church nearby. The, the name of the church escapes me, um, but the 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 stonemason was a guy called Ellis, who I think was Cork based. Yeah, but I don't really know much more than that. I, I, can't, I can't think it is there. I, I haven't seen that. It's a bit possible it is. I've never come across it locally. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, I think we need to kind of. We, we, we had a long day with a lot of information in our heads. Uh, I'd like to thank all the speakers because I think we had a fabulous amount of information. Yes. Yeah.